Today we're going to compare the traditional mallet finger splint with separate dorsal block orthoses to a new design using a prefab oval eighth. This design will allow for PIP joint flexion but prevent hyperextension while still maintaining DIP joint extension. We start with two pieces of material, one oval eight and one small piece of thermoplast. Here we can see the therapist securing the piece of thermoplast material to the prefabricated oval eight. Once secure, she'll place the orthosis on the patient, just proximal to the PIP joint to ensure no hyperextension at the PIP joint. And lastly, she will mold the distal part of the splint to maintain the DIP joint in extension. Adding one strap to secure the DIP joint in extension will complete the splint. This is a great, easy to create orthoses to prevent swan neck deformity. I hope you found this helpful and that you can use it in your practice.